Hi guys, welcome to my Arms Warrior basic guide. In this guide we'll be going over abilities, talents, rotation, and honor talents. So, let's dive right into it. Battle Shout increases attack power. Blade Storm does a ton of physical damage. Also does damage over time. Damage slash bleed damage with your mastery. Die by the sword, increases parry chance, reduces all damage you take, charge generates rage, execute is an execute, does a ton of damage, also applies damage over time through your mastery. Mortal strike does a ton of physical damage, in case you haven't recognized the pattern yet, also does damage over time bleed damage through your mastery. We also have overpower back baseline I believe. Overpower the enemy, dealing damage, increase the damage of your next mortal strike by 30%. Usually it's 20%, but since I'm specced into this talent, it is increasing by additional 10. Pummel is an interrupt. Rallying Cry is a increased max health. Slam is physical damage, costs 20 rage. Stormbolt's a stun. Sweeping Strikes is back for 12 seconds, your single target damaging abilities. Hit one additional target within 8 yards for 75% damage. Victory Rush is Victory Rush, does damage and heals you. Warbreaker is your Colossus Smash. If you're specced into Warbreaker, it's Warbreaker. If you're not specced into Warbreaker, it's called Colossus Smash. Most of the time, I'm personally going to be specced into Warbreaker. You also have Whirlwind Disarms, as, although it's not nearly as useful as it is Fury and also causes Rage without generating it. Um, Mastery is Deep Wounds. Deep Wounds damage is increased by 29.1%, dealing 1,904 damage over 6 seconds, striking an enemy with Mortal Strike, Execute, or Blade Storm inflicts Deep Wounds. You also have Tactician, which you have a 1.4 chance per Rage spent to reset the cooldown on your Overpower, and then Season Soldier just increases your Rage generation through auto attack crits. Unlike Fury, you have two more than two spellbook pages, so automatically it's better already. Let's go over uh, talents real quick. I don't like War Machine, don't like it for Fury, don't like it for Arms, personally just never gonna take it, shouldn't be in the game anymore. Your choices here are Skull Splitter and Sudden Death. Sudden Death, your attacks have a chance to make your next execute cost no rage and be usable and deal max damage. Your other choice here is Skull Splitter. 19 second cooldown deals slightly less damage than a mortal strike, however it does not apply damage over time effect and also generates rage. I'd pick either of these two. For the 30 row, any of these would work. I pick up Stormbolt because there's really no point in two charges if you don't have the heal through fury. Um, so here, either impending victory or Stormbolt, your choice there. For the 45 rune, I believe Massacre will be better for raids, but for leveling, I'm personally going to take Rend. I don't think Fervor of Battle is that great, and I think it's just kind of very, very boring. For the 60 rune, Second Wind will be the best for leveling. Just generates health after you're out of combat for 5 seconds. There's also Defensive Stance. Now reduces damage you take by 20%, and it the damage decrease that you do has been increased from 20% reduced damage you do to 10% damage you do. So it used to be 20% damage reduction onto yourself and now it's 10%, so good job Blizz. Uh, other choice is Bounding Stride. Take it if you want to be a leapy guy that just leaps around everywhere. I'll show you why you'd probably want to take this. You won't have as many leaps as I have, but because I'm having a legendary equipped, but if you want to play like that, then uh, take Bounding Stride. Um, for the 75 row, I think all these are good choices. I do think collateral damage, if the refund was like 50% then it might be good, but I don't think 20% is really that good to be used over Warbreaker or Cleave, so... Cleave, I can't imagine it being good in Mythics. I don't like the cooldown, I don't like how it's very, very high, but it could work. I'm gonna have to test it out. Personally, what I'm using right now is Warbreaker. Pretty much gives your Colossus Smash an AoE effect, also does a lot more damage. 45 second cooldown. It's really good. Uh, for the 90 row, I don't take Deadly Calm. 
don't really see the point. Either Avatar or In for the Kill. In for the Kill, I personally like it. I've just liked it a lot. Avatar is a lot more straightforward. 20% damage buff for 20 seconds, removes all stuns, and generates rage. For the 100 row, any of these would work. I really like Dreadnought. However, I'm really liking your management. And then Ravager is also Ravager, so it's your choice here. I think Anger Management will be the best because reduced cooldown on Blades, Tormund, Warbreaker, which is your only two cooldowns. Your other choice here is having two stacks on Overpower and getting an extra 10% on your Mortal Strike buff through your Overpower. And the other choice is a throwable Bladestorm, which deals slightly better damage and also generates rage. And then you can obviously use your abilities while this is damaging targets. So those are your talent choices. Personally, what talents you are seeing currently. Instead of Dreadnought, I'll be taking Anger Management whenever I'm not using this legendary. I'll be specced like this while leveling and probably into very early end game of BFA. For honor talents, I like taking Honorable Medallion, Shadow of the Colossus, Charge resets the cooldown of Overpower, and Raged Gain from Charge increase by 15%. Very good for leveling, just for the Rage generation and extra damage. Sharpened Blade increases the damage of your next Mortal Strike by 30%, reduces healing for the target takes by 50%, and then Storm of Destruction reduces the cooldown of Blade Storm by 33%. That's all you need to know about that talent. So let's go over the rotation now. The rotation is very, very simple for Fury, or Arms Warrior, sorry. You're going to Battle Shout to apply your buff. You're going to Charge in. You're going to press Overpower. You're going to apply your Rend. And pretty much with Overpower, you're going to want to be using the proc whenever it's up. You're going to want to reapply your Rend whenever it's kind of close to ending. And you want to press Mortal Strike as much as you can whenever you, I guess, have either a Colossus Smash buff up or whenever you have two stacks of your overpower buff on. And this is the rotation, guys. Uh, very, very boring. But it is what it is. Pretty much you want to press Mortal Strike on cooldown. And that's about it. Press Warbreaker on cooldown as well. If you get sudden death procs, use those immediately because it generates rage. Reapply Rend whenever you need to. Always use overpower whenever it's up. You'll see there, I overpower twice, just for the increased damage of your Mortal Strike. And keep in mind, any ability that you use has a chance to reset the cooldown of your overpower, as long as it costs Rage, so that's something to keep in mind. This is the rotation. Very simple. Very calming, I think. And, uh... I don't know. I, I feel like it's very polished, honestly. It may be a very simple rotation, but I do think Blizzard looked heartily at arms. And it's nice because it's been a staple a while for so long. I mean, I, I really like arms now. I might play it over Fury, just because it's going to be really good for PvP, but we'll see. And this is the very basic rotation. Um, I'll use my cooldowns here in case you guys actually kind of want to see the actual rotation. So I'm going to wait for my Warbreaker to come back. I'm going to use Sharpen Blade just because. And this would be the kind of normal rotation here. Going to use my Sudden Death because you just want to use that as many times as it comes up. When you have kind of nothing else to press, you're going to want to press Blade Storm. We'll see if that happens soon. Looks like I'm going to press it here. Blade Storm when I have nothing else to press. Going to Overpower here. For the increased damage on my mortal strength. Reapply Ren. Gonna slam because I have nothing else to press that will proc over power. Mortal strike whenever it's up. Press slam because I have nothing else to press. Mortal strike again. Reapply rend. Use the sudden death proc. This is it. This is arms warrior, guys. And you'll see that as I am spending rage with uh, anger management, the cooldown on my warbreaker. And my Blade Storm goes down very significantly. I do think Anger Management's actually going to be a very good talent, both for Fury and Arms. Since I have nothing to press here, I'm just going to use Blade Storm just to see the cooldown reduction on it as well. Something to keep in mind now is that you do auto attack while you are Blade Storming, 
I believe there used to be a bug where you couldn't right click and you'd auto attack while blade storming. And now they just made it baseline, so that's something to keep in mind. And this is the rotation. The AoE rotation wouldn't be much different. You'd just be pressing sweeping strengths and then just doing your normal rotation. Except you'd be using Whirlwind a little bit more. This is kind of a filler ability. I do believe that in Mythics, Fervor of Battle might be better than just Rend. However, if you spread Rend to multiple targets in Mythics, I do believe Rend will be better. It's really kind of what level of uh, engaged play you'd want, as in how many dots you want to be tracking on all your targets. If you don't want to track too many dots, I'd suggest Fervor of Battle. If you don't mind tracking dots on multiple targets, then go ahead and run Rend. It's really personal preference there. And something to keep in mind is Warbreaker and Bladestorm pair very, very, very well together in Mythics. So, that's kind of the rotation. Also for Mythics, Fervor of Battle and Cleave wouldn't be bad, however I do believe Warbreaker is personally just my preference, but if you want to try Cleave, I'd highly suggest trying it and see how you feel about it. And that's the arms rotation, guys. Um, I think it's easier than Fury, honestly. Fury, you kind of have to track your rend. The only thing you track as an arms warrior is the cooldown on your mortal strike, warbreaker, blade storm, and execute procs. That's all you have to do. So yeah, that's it, guys. If you guys liked the video and found it helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. If you guys want to tune into my live stream, it's twitch.tv slash paraglasses, upper left, first link in the description. If you guys like the video, I don't know, good job. Good job listening to this video and learning about Arms Warrior with me. Hopefully it helped you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a good day, and uh, I'll see you guys in the future.